on Christmas Day, NASA and the European Space Agency are set to launch a new space telescope that would be many times better. Yeah, nine on your side is Craig Smith reports how U of A astronomers designed two of the cameras that will help the telescope look back almost to the start of the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope is much larger than the Hubble. It will fly deeper in space and have much better ability to collect a type of light the Hubble did not see as well infrared light our own eyes can't see at all. University of Arizona astronomer Marcia Riki knows infrared is where the action is if you want to see light from soon after the Big Bang that kicked off the universe because the farther the light travels from its source the more it shifts to infrared. So the light is old in that sense but we're seeing that object as it was when the light left it 13 and a half billion years ago so we're seeing the object in its youth. Marsha Riki and her team designed one of the four cameras on the telescope. Her husband and fellow U of A astronomer George Riki designed one of the other cameras. He says the infrared images will be changed to show colors our eyes can see. Some images will show things only an astronomer can appreciate. Others will show us even better views of space than the pictures that made the Hubble telescope a rock star with non-scientists. It's like uh, imaging exoplanets, planets around other stars, or looking at what's going on in dust clouds where very young stars are just forming. Those are going to be more pictorial. So there's going to be a whole range of things that I think the public will get really engaged with. Naturally, the James Webb Telescope is very complex and it needs to perform to perfection. Unlike the Hubble, it will fly too far into space for astronauts to repair it. Craig Smith, KGUN 9, on your side.